what is up guys it's brady here and today we are back with another video and i definitely have a lot to catch up on so uh i'm just gonna start this video out by saying that i've been taking kind of like a little break from youtube mostly just because like there hasn't really been too much news besides a few new props being released like from techie toys and stuff but i just haven't really been too focused on my channel but as soon as like the halloween season starts starting up again i'm sure that's gonna completely change like it does every year but um anyway today i'm going to be saying my opinions on a few of the props that i did not make videos on while also most well also the main purpose of this video is to say what i think about the new prop that was i'm not sure if it was leaked or the video was released today but um it is a prop that has been like there's been a outline of it for a while but no one has actually seen what it's looked like and i'll just go more in detail to that later but anyway let's start off by looking at the techie toys props so the first off is is like the crawling possessed girl and honestly i thought this would be kind of cool but it it really wasn't it was i wouldn't even say it's mid this prop just really sucks the only close to redeeming quality is the audio um, I think it's kind of cool that they reuse Peekaboo Penny's audio, but the rest just sucks about it. First off, it's a total copycat of um, the Bloodthirsty Betty prop from Spirit Halloween, which, like, last year, Spirit Halloween completely ripped off Techie Toys with their, um, oh, I forgot what it was called. It's the that Tombstone Girl, um, Angeline. Sorry, I'm, it's like 3 in the morning while I'm making this, so I'm kind of tired, but, uh, yeah, so they completely copied them with Angeline, so I guess this is just kind of them getting Spirit Halloween back, but, uh, it's, it's not very good. The design of it just sucks, too, but anyway, on to the next prop. Now, this is the three-foot thrashing zombie, and honestly, I thought this would be cool after hearing the name, but this is pretty mid. I mean, I like how it looks, but I hate, like, how crazy the animation is. It does, it just looks, like, fake and weird. But I think this would have been cool, but not for Techie, because Techie's a really good company, and I think they're capable of doing stuff better than this. I think, like, Pan Asian Creations is a good company that's, like, this is kind of the level they're on, or Magic Power, but I think Techie Toys should be doing a lot better stuff than just making these cheap kind of props. And the same thing goes for the Clown, although I think it was very overhated. I honestly kind of like the clown because the animation works a lot better with it. It's not amazing, but it's it's not really that bad. Um, and the final Techie Toys prop that I have to talk about is the Rosemary. Um, and honestly, this got some pretty mixed opinions, but I do really enjoy the looks and design of it. But it needs shoulders. It definitely needs shoulders, but I think it's cool. I mean, not as good as the original, but... I really like the new look of it. Now on to the main part of this video, which was to talk about the new prop today. And this is probably the best prop, like new prop we've seen for 2021. And it is the SVI Jack Stalker. So basically, this is honestly kind of a merge of the Collector and the Nightmare Harvester both from spirit halloween made by totally different companies but i think it's really cool um i'd s i don't know if i'd say it's a better than those two because those are some of my favorite props definitely not better than nightmare harvester but i love the idea of it first of all the skeleton or the reaper looks really cool really scary i think it's a perfect prop that'll just like kind of scare people without being too gory like if you don't want a super gory prop you just want something that's just kind of effective and i also love how it communicates with the pumpkin but um i just think this is kind of the perfect like halloween prop like it's not super unique it honestly is pretty generic but it has just enough creativity and scariness to make it good so i think this is extremely solid um i hope i get to see it sometime this year because man this thing is cool now, also, I would like to end this video saying, 
that I've seen some pretty cool stuff from Distortions Unlimited this year, so I would check that out too. I'm not really going to talk about that in this video because it's getting kind of long, but I'd make sure to check out their stuff because they got some pretty cool props, but I'm going to start kind of trying to get back on track. I'm going to make a video soon about some of the Sunstar knockoffs that I think look at absolutely horrible, but until then, uh, bye.